Second half of the Operator's Grounds. We have a lot of flint. We have fire beetles now. Fighter fire bubbles. Like we need them anymore. All right. This place. Now that we're done with the pose, it's now time for the more mechanical side of the dungeon. Now the fact that we've already dealt with a lot of mechanical stuff already beforehand. Now, you weren't supposed to jump down here. You're supposed to, you know, use your claw shot down here. But since the damage is very minimal... Oh, you know, we want to pull? We want to push. Yeah, the more you push on this, the more the, the ground goes up. There's a there's an opening on each one of these. With some of them having bubbles in them. Some having, you know, walls that block their path. Like that, for, for instance. Yeah, you bubbles. No one likes you, bubbles. I'm gonna come back around here. This is the chest we need. Ow. Pick this open. What do we get? A key! Love the keys. Let's go. Let's go, go. Now we now have to go back down. We pull this back, ways. There's only one key in this place right here, so we just need to pull this all the way down. Like so. And now we get ourselves out of here. Yeah, because this place is going to get a lot more mechanical as we go forward. Just you watch. So, we need to be wolfling for this. I say that is because there's a lot of... walls. And dead spider, dead, dead rodents too. Do 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 do. Come on, get over here, you stupid... Ow. Oh. Again, these stupid skeletons, these stupid dead mice are so annoying to get around. They pop out anywhere and basically ruin your day. And give you the un unsatisfactory that you're now heavier than normal. Come on! I'll marry you. Ugh. I, they really want to focus the dead and creepy aspect of this game. I'll give you. I'll give. I'll give Twilight Princess that. I won't say it's the darkest of the of the Zelda series, but it does come really darn close. Uh, we, we, oh, that's right. We need to pull. Yeah, we have to pull something here. I want to go. Yeah, we have to pull this uh, thing out of the wall. See if we can see the silhouette of the spikes now, so we know what our puzzle is. I want to get over here and get rid of this, which is also another redead. Ooh, yeah, get rid of you. We don't want to deal with the redeads anymore. So many of these guys, and I can't get these things off me. Ugh. I still hear one. There you are. Come back here, you little stupid ghost. Ah. There. You see the fact that I was talking about the silhouettes earlier? Yeah, you can see the silhouettes of the spikes, so you know you're not basically getting lost. So he's got Wolf Link and his powerful jaws to pull this rock out of the way. And then we have to make a huge loop back around and actually get there. Right, let's go. Run away! Back up, back up. There we go. Ha-ha! Booyah! And the fact that we haven't seen Okru yet, either. Yeah, I think we would have seen the, the... the weird chicken head human thing, you know, a long time ago. Also, we have, you know, Blade Traps, a classic Zelda enemy or contraption in the Zelda series that we have not seen up until this point. Oh, we have more of those beetles. You get these beetles on you, they will hurt. In fact, you can keep this, uh, you keep the lamp on, the but these little weird beetle things will stay away from you and you can kill them off easily. Again, a more purpose of the lamp should be done here than it was in prior dungeons. <laughs> oh, there's our friend! Surprising you're so far. How did you get beyond the gate? Phew! Free at last! Uh, gracious, you're the nice fellow who helped me out the other day. How nice to see you again. Well, now that we found each other again, let's stick together for a bit. Hmm? I'll be right here with you, so if you want to work out, 
just let me know. You read I of Okuru once again. This kind of character will let you out of the dungeon when to or where you live. Use it if you need to. Come on now. Right, don't need the lamp on from now. Okay. Ugh. Stupid beetles. These things are creepy. And if these things do latch on you, they will slow Link down. So watch out for that. Just kill them when you see them. And save your oil as much as possible, folks. You gotta keep your oil uh, level high. You know, they give you ample amounts of spots to get oil in there. Oh, these things... A lot of blade traps, I've noticed. Huh! Well, they did make this a prison that wasn't meant to be getting away from. Kill these things off, because then these things are going to cause all kinds of grief. Alright, here we go. Watch out for the blade traps. Ow! Like I said, watch out for blade traps, and you get... And I also immediately get hit by one. Yeah, good going there, Alex, man. Good going. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yes, we need to come back around here. Because we need bomb arrows again to take down a couple more Stafos. I'll, I'll take the hit. I will gladly take a hit if it's for basically getting rid of a Stafos immediately. Thank you. Cool, we're back at full health again. There you go. Give him the trigger. And booyah, he's gone. And that opens up the door for us. Ha <laughs> ha, sweet. Awesomeness. All right, no, I don't want to die. Get out of the sand. Quicksand, man, seriously. Hyrule has got a horrible case of quicksandism. <laughs> I mean, and I know in previous previous games there has been the amounts of quicksand everywhere, but it gets annoying after a while. Oh, we got more beetles. Get up here. So they don't get on you. And now I gotta get up this one here. Oh, I got all me. Oh, they're all over me. Ugh. What? That that just creeps me out right there. Just like ugh. <laughs> get over here. Wouldn't you hate I don't you hate that when you get like mosquitoes and bugs all over you and it just it's like it's like just get off, just get off and it just it's just ugh. It's almost like bed bugs in instance, just in beetle form. Ugh, that's even more creepy. Alright, looks like we got a mid boss here. And this boss is interesting. Some to believe that this is Ganondorf's sword. To be fair, and it's being held down by talismans to make sure it won't go anywhere. And, uh, well, we have to cut it. And, oh, no, I shouldn't have done anything. This is called Death Sword. And it's long rumored to be believed by theorists to be the sword that Gandor could have used. Uh, and somehow it's now gained sentience. Oh, boy. We need to be in wolf form for this, and we get to see it's actually a ghost, it's a Poe. And we got to get around this while his head is covered. You can't hit him while he's covered, his head's covered. We got to hit it multiple times with Wolf Link here, and his cloak comes off, and now the real fight begins. And now it's just, uh. Now I gotta get my combo off here so I can use bows and arrows right now because bomb arrows will not do a thing to him. You have to hit him with the arrow. You have to hit him with a bow to get him angry and everything and then make him run around so you can make you avoid avoid his sword strike and then you can hit him. Booyah! This thing is creepy beyond belief. This is almost like death himself is basically tied to the twilight in some fashion. Or This is just Something that the Gerudo was holding back and then somehow just got released because of it. What if the Sheikah just realized it was something creepy and they held down with talismans? Oh boy. Oh good. Yeah, I hit you hard, baby. Jump slice you to death. You're literally trying to kill death as we speak. Shocking, I know. Oh boy. Ah. That's annoying. Hey! 
There we go. Hit him hard, and it makes him freak out. Oh, boy. What? Oh, I messed up the timing. No! Yeah, get back down here, you buddy. Stop freaking out and basically fight me like a real demon. Hit him hard, hit him once. Jump, slice him to death, and that's it. And death himself is gone. Death sword is no more. And he comes out as a bunch of locusts. But don't come to Ordania, please. I don't want my farm dead anymore. <laughs> and we get uh, a new item for the Zelda series. This is a brand new item. Now, if you saw my, uh, if you saw uh, Hyrule Warriors Defensive Edition, then you may know what this weapon is. It's the spinner. The ancient machine allows you to float in the air. Set so it to any of the buttons and get on top of it to move over sand and wall rails. Press the sign button to go right into attack the enemies with spin power. And that's right, we got ourselves the spinner. Now, in theory and in concept, this seems to be a pretty cool item. You know, it's like your own mechanical, rideable item you can use to run around as much as you want. But it's not that sort. If you use it without the rails, it's very slow. And there is a slight attack you can use, but it is horribly low range and horribly low damage. I really wish there was, you know, more to it. I really wish there was more to it. But there isn't. Uh, see, Hyrule Warriors really, really love this, this thing. Really do, because this thing is supposed to be electrical based. And is, quite honestly, one of the more powerful electrical um, infused items in Hyrule Warriors. I mean, it's pretty potent, not gonna lie. And I used it a lot in Hyrule Warriors Defensive Edition. And Link looks so cool using it. <laughs> and uh, here it's like, this is where it originally from? Maybe the uh, the spinner we got in Hyrule Warriors is basically a more advanced form of this. And this is just a degraded version of it. That's probably why it's so low powered, you know? Like, and it does have its uses. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of contraptions we're going to get into that's going to make, uh, uh, to make it useful to run around in. Oh, no. Nope. Don't want to... No, I'm getting stuck in the sand. Spin! Spin the spot top! <laughs> okay, we go. It does have a little bit of speed when it's starting off, but not by much. Oh, ow! Well, I'm dead now. Let me jump up there! <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now we gotta use the right R button to jump. After we get this thing... Oh my goodness, I almost, I almost hit it here. Ooh! Don't mind me! Do not mind me in the slightest. Hey, he's a sword. A bomb arrow to the face. <laughs> Just thinking, Stafos. Where's, what's this chest give me? Give me this chest. What we got? Heart piece. Wow, this is actually kind of shocking. Getting multiple heart pieces in one dungeon. This must be really, really generous. I'm gonna ride this rails across here and then jump across. We jump here and then we jump and we go in here. Then want to get off of here and then reestablish it so you can ride it the right way. And you get some again, you get some distance with the sand on the rails. And it's like it's pretty impressive. I just wish there was more to it instead of just being a a literal gear in the works. Uh let's see, was there anything over there? I don't think oh yeah, there I think there is something. Oh yeah, there's a chest over there. Definitely going after it. You! Go! Away, Stafos! And I know you're gonna be a pain in the backside, so I'm gonna get rid of you. There we go. Get rid of that Stafos right there, and what do we get? A stamp for Miiverse. And nothing more, and nothing less. Again, I wish Miiverse was a thing that was on the Switch. Like, I mean, it was killed, it was started on a console that didn't have a big following, and. And to be fair, I don't think that's a detriment to it. You know, having a, a family-friendly, you know, social media site would be kind of nice. And I think the Switch it could have a potential to bring it back, but they didn't. Which is a real shame, too. 
I mean, V-verse could have been great. I was, I loved V-verse when it was around. All right, here's the big key for you, which is good. Now we can use the other function that this thing has. It unlocks doors. We put this thing into a gear, and we just keep spinning and spinning. I'm not sure how Link is standing on this thing while it's spinning, but given the context of it, he's probably just hovering us slightly above over there and everything, just piercing the heavens once in a while. And now we got to open way forward. That's right. And now let's to get above here as best we can. And then we have to jump off at the right moment to land into the middle pillar here. We want to jump off like this. There we go. I don't want to fall off here. And now we get another spin to win moment here. Spin, spin, spin me around. Like the ancient rails all round, round. Booyah. Again, how... I would love to know Ancient Hyrule at the moment, seeing how they came up with all these uh, mechanical gears and whatnot, which again is probably the Sheikah technology pouring through. You know, it would not surprise me in the slightest, to be honest. Alright, it's time for the boss of this place. Let's go fight the boss. And what is our boss for today? Looks like there's nothing here except for a big old skeleton corpse. Well, what's that? I hear I hear laughter. Oh, it's you again. You still live. How astonishing how some call you hero, but this is a truly bittersweet reunion, truly. For I fear this is the last time I will see you alive. Come, my sword. My scimitar, come to me! And... Huh? Enjoy, my little pet, you hero. I'm off to do better things. And indeed, in Hyrule Warriors, that is a weapon you can unlock for Zant, is this sword, this scimitar that he put down into... Stall Lord's head here. And this thing. This was the final boss in uh, Link's crossbow training, for the record. Not sure how this thing came alive again since uh, Link's training, or Link's crossbow training, is a sequel to this game initially. This is the 12th fossil, Stall Lord. Stall Lord, his weakness is his spine right now. You want to jump in here and hit the spin button to break off an easy portion section right off the bat. Every time you basically take down his spine, he brings out more clay soldiers for you to break through. Every time you get onto the rail to keep your speed up. The rails, though, do have, like, two um, traps on them running at any time. So you just gotta keep out hitting them back and back. This boss is cool in theory, I want to say I stress. This boss is pretty cool in theory. Should be nothing around him. There's another spine of his gone. Now it's time for his next spine. Now he's got soldiers right around his spine, so we're going to have to do some multiple hits on this thing. Well, they're not technically clay soldiers. They're basically undead soldiers, which, is, oddly enough, they're wearing Hyrulean armor, really, honestly. That's uh, quite a nifty uh, little treat there. Ooh, goodness, I almost hit that rail. Ugh! Oh, yeah, he's got a lot of... Yeah, these are all Hyrulean soldiers' armor. I mean, how many Hyrule soldiers died here? Like, that is... That is creepy on so many levels right now. Luckily, though, the more stuff you... The more uh, stuff these uh, soldiers you kill... They don't come back, so you can have at least finally get an opening into actually hitting him. Well, that boss was pretty easy. Only three hits? This is kind of, the, kind of underwhelming for a fourth tier boss, I might say. And all the sand's going down like the boss is over. Only the head remains. Well, 
Well, not all bosses drop hearts, I guess. Might as well just finish this off and get to the where the mirror twilight resides. We'll just get this thing up and running here. So we can actually get out of this pit. Again, I'd really love to know how this ancient technology is all over the place for Twilight Princess. <laughs> Alright. Cool. There's a door and, uh, wait a minute. How are you still- Oh, the sword. That's its weak point, not the spine. Oh, no. Uh, ah! <laughs> Alright, it's time for the best fight in the game, I would say. This is a very unique boss fight, let's be fair. Now, in this boss fight, in this particular second portion here, you have to be on the center pillar in order to actually catch Stall Lord. The right side of the rails is only there to avoid his fireball attacks. So after he fights one here, you have to jump. Wait for him to fire again. And fire again. And jump right at him. There you go. And just jump slash this thing. Kill this sword like nothing else. It's almost like an evil master sword we have to destroy. Which is quite creepy in that regard. Alright, next time we have to do more jumping because now there's now spike traps on the center pillar now. That we have to watch out for. So let's see if we can get this done right, folks. Jump. Jump again. Again, you have to be on the center pillar to actually catch Stall Lord. So you just quickly jump and then quickly jump right back. You can actually try to achieve it to him. And jump! Come on, buddy. Oh boy. I can't do it if I'm far on the ground. Alright. Gotta get back up here as best we can. We have to get enough height so we can actually jump to rail to rail to actually actually take Salord down. Come on, Salord. I'm right here. Come on, buddy. Huh. And three. Fire! Booyah! Take this down! Take you down! Hit this sword to pieces! Ugh. One more round to do it. And now there's gonna be uh, spikes, spike traps now on the right side as well. That's something we also have to take into account. Hope we don't run any spikes on the way up here. Oh! There we go. Have to avoid the spike traps on both sides, which makes this boss fight very the most dynamic boss fight in the game. Come on, buddy. Huah! You're going down, buddy. Jump again. And fire away! Oh! Slam dunk! There we go! Take you down. Get rid of that sore off his head. And stay dead, you creepy little or big stall lord. That must have been a big, very big, big cursed creature in its life. There's our heart piece, our heart container. Now this curse is lifted. Nice. And the door actually opens! Nice! Sweet! Alright, Alton, let's go! We're close to the mirror of twilight! Let's go! Get a heart container for our troubles! Alright, we're out of here. Again, very fun boss fight in the end. Very enjoyable. 